Shark Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And I had a uh, subscriber ask me, how do women treat black men in Thailand? How do women treat black men in Thailand? And that's a good question. And I think um, I, had a, uh, I had a good experience in Thailand. It's, uh, maybe I had a unique experience. I'm not sure, you know, but, um, you know, there's different, I think the, the experience you have in Thailand is going to be based on the kind of women that you meet, because, um, let's be clear, now, they, they like black men in Thailand, so they have a, um, uh, uh I think they, they see us a little bit different from the Europeans or the whites or you know most other people. They actually call people the African American people or any or black people or whatever you want to call yourself. They call us chocolate man. That's a phrase that they you're gonna hear if you go to Thailand. Chocolate man, chocolate man. You're gonna hear that a lot, right? I don't know how that came about, but you know, I never asked. I just, I just went along with it, and it, it was cool in the game. But see, in Thailand, you have the, 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 um, the I would say the European-like Thai people, and they usually, you usually see them on the billboards. You see them in you know, they, they work in the corporate jobs, they get the better opportunities. They see, you see them on television, right? And then you got the Afro uh, uh, Thai people. Now, you're not going to see them that much because they're secluded in the village. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the reason why I say this because the people that you see, um, most of the women that you see, or the or the the, the European uh, like Thai women with European features, and and these are the ones at the bars, or maybe they're at the clubs, you know. And nine times out of ten, these women are on the track. You know what I'm saying? They they selling some pussy. They selling cooch. You know what I'm saying? Now. They they go about it in a very unique way, indirectly, you know. But see, part of the the economy in Thailand is prostitution. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you have to pay for sex. I've never paid for sex over there because that's a big game. But just like I said, it just depends on what type of women woman you meet. I I met a lot of the women from the village. You know, those are the women that I hung around for the most part. I actually met a woman from the village, and I kept in contact with her for like two years in Thailand. And by the way, I went to Bangkok and Pattaya Beach. Now, the other towns and cities, I can't uh, uh, sp talk about very much because I haven't been there. But Pattaya Beach is okay. It's decent. Bangkok is nice. But Thailand, for the most part, is a poor country. You know what I mean? This is why a lot of women behave and act the way they do because they're desperate for money. They're starving over there. You know what I'm saying? So I have a little compassion for the women. You know what I'm saying? So so I don't. Uh, I try not to be so judgmental. And even if you meet a woman that's from the village, she, you know, they have a hard time too because the darker the skin that people tend not to get a lot of opportunities, just like us black people here in America. The, the lighter the skin in Thailand, they tend to get more opportunities than the rest of the people over there. And the darker shaded Thai people get mistreated very badly by, by everybody, from what I've witnessed. You know what I'm saying? But um, for the most part, I've had a good experience in Thailand. Uh, women treated me very nice. Now, but one thing I would say is 
um, I, I would say don't try to, don't expect very much from the women over there. If you have a good time, uh, you spend a couple days with a woman, uh, maybe she might come to see you if, if you're in Japan or in the local area or something like that. Just take it for what it is and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, a lot of these women are just hustling. They're just trying to survive. You know what I'm saying? So don't try to get in any relationship with any of them. Don't try to, uh, don't expect anything. Don't expect shit. And if, uh, another thing, a lot of these women, uh, um, will try to hustle you. They might even try to set you up. It, it, like I'm saying, the chick that's on the track, the chick that's in the clubs, you got to be careful because a lot of them, they got game. And, you know, a, a lot of women over there will um, lie to try to get money out of you. You know what I'm saying? And you never know who they know. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've heard a lot of stories where people told me they got jumped, they got stabbed, you know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to pay out when they, after they had sex with a woman. So, you got to always be up front with these women. Don't try to, you know, don't act like you're slick. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, when, I'm over, when I went over there, I've been over there at Thailand probably over 10 times. You know what I'm saying? I stopped counting after a while. But I've had a good, overall I had a good experience. But don't expect shit. You know what I'm saying? This is not like Japan. This is not like America. You, you, you don't expect no friendship. Don't expect no relationship. Don't expect shit. It's just when you spend time with a woman, even if it's for a day or a couple of hours or a couple of days, take it for what it is. Make the best of the time. If she treats you nice, you treat her nice. Um, if she she's not treating you nice and if she's playing games, just cut her off and move on. You know what I'm saying? What the experience is going to be based upon what type of people you hang around in Thailand. If you're hanging around the local people that, you know, the people that are indentured, that are the, 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 the indentured people, or uh, some people will say the people that uh, uh, the land got stolen from, you know, the people, the real Thai people. If you hang around those people, that's from the village. If you get lucky and you meet some of those people, you good. You have a much better time than being around the, the Europeanized Thai people, the lighter shade of Thai women. Because they nine times out of ten, they know you're coming over from maybe military, maybe you're on a vacation. So they assume that you have money. So they're going to try to hustle you any way they can as possible. And a lot of these women have so many guys on speed dial, and they have guys sending them money all the time. They guys fly these women to come see them wherever they're in Hawaii, Japan, or wherever and uh, Thailand ever since they got invaded by Spain if I'm not mistaken you know they pretty much fucked their country up stole our resources and all that and never came back and the rest of these co neighboring countries like Japan, uh, China and, and Korea everybody gets a turn everyone is taking advantage trying to get control of all the resources that they have left and just like you got a bunch of you got boatloads of guys that go to Thailand every day just to buy some pussy you got boatloads of guys that come from Korea Japan um, Dubai America just to buy some pussy so see so see, they would turn Thailand into the Las Vegas in America, basically. Whatever stays, whatever happens in Thailand stays in Thailand. You know, so that's one of the... Thailand is like uh, uh, the prostitution hub. Just like Malaysia is a prostitution hub for the millionaires and the billionaires, Thailand is a prostitution hub for the working class people. So it is what it is, but I try not to be so judgmental uh, with a lot of these women because I know I understand the history and I, I know what happened to them so I try to have compassion but at the same time I'm not gonna get hustled by nobody 
You know what I'm saying? So when I, whenever I go to Thailand, I just take it for what it's worth. I spend a, 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 a spend time there with maybe one woman or a couple of women. And after the time's over, I don't expect shit. I, I keep it moving. And, uh, you know, and I see you. See you until next time or whatever. And even if I do meet somebody that want to keep in contact, that's cool. I'll keep in contact. But don't expect for her to keep in contact with you for months and years. Because it probably won't happen. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these women are hustlers. They're trying to survive. And it is what it is, you know. So, hope that actually answers your question. So, if you like what you heard, subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog, TrueYourRelationships.com. Until next time, Sharp Game is out. Peace.